You know guys, when it comes to laziness, many people have misconceptions about laziness. First of all, laziness is quite active, okay? Laziness is an attitude of the mind, it's an attitude of the, the emotions, you see? And what is laziness all about? Laziness is a sense of negative entitlement in which an individual declares that they have the right to have all the benefits, yet nobody should nobody should de demand any. You know, how do I say it? You no know, effort from them. You see, in life you have to invest in order to have an outcome. See, also in nature it works that way. If you don't sow, you won't reap. Okay. Now listen carefully. I'm not advocating slavery here. You see, if you're living in a country with a system of exploitation, I'm not saying that you just have to get along with it because, you know, uh, you know, abusers and, you know, oppressors who exploit others often, you know, uh, accuse the, their victims of laziness just so that they get along with the exploitation. No, I'm not saying you should give in to exploitation. No. Okay. When there's physical exploitation, you have the right to you know, get out of it, okay? But now I'm not talking about that, okay? Laziness is a form of violence. Why? Because lazy people, you know, they violate the well-being of others just to get what they want. You see, laziness is not, you know, a form of overt, you know, physical aggression in which an individual physically harms another individual to get what they want, you know, but lacing it is a form of covert uh, violence in which an individual makes demands upon others, but is unwillingly to make any investments. See, just think about it. Lazy people are people who want all the benefits, but no responsibilities. And lazy people are also envious people. They are extreme, extremely dangerous because when a lazy individual doesn't receive the benefits they claim they have a right to, they will make their lives miserable of others so that they won't have any benefits. Okay? Now, let me give an illustration about this. You see, laziness doesn't have to do with physical labor at all. It's an attitude and it, and it manifests itself in physical labor. But there are also other areas in life in which laziness will manifest. Think about a parent that expects, expects his or her child to, you know, make them comfortable. You see, it's not your child's job to make you comfortable. It's your job to watch your child to prepare them for life and to be humble and let them go when you need to let them go. Okay? And of course, Children ought to honor their parents because they're human beings, okay? However, you should be humble and make clear that you're just a human being and that you can't do everything for them. You should invest in your children in order to reap the right, uh, the, the right outcome, you see? Of course, children, when they grow up, also make choices, so it's not your responsibility to make sure things go well with them, but to receive a good harvest, you need to invest the right way. You need to be dedicated. And, and you see, there are parents who only demand from their children, but they're not willing to invest in their children. And when their children have benefits, they want to exploit their children. Listen, if you have parents like that, go no contact with them, break all contact, move to your own place, and, you know, leave them behind. Don't look back. Okay? So, also, so in parenting, laziness often manifests. You see? It can also manifest in order to be around that children, you know, exploit their parents. But the, the area where laziness often manifests most of the time is in human sexuality. Yes, I've said it. Just think about it. You see, sexuality, sex is not just an act with the body. It also involves your emotions, your mind, your brains. You see, sex is who you are. It's not just a thing you do. So to get sexual satisfaction, it's not only about getting physically in and out of someone, or as a woman to receive someone in you and out of you, 
it also involves emotional commitment and men a mental awareness okay and a dedication all those things are a part of sex okay sex isn't just physical doing your thing getting a high and it's over no sex involves also emotions and your mind and the lord knows how sex works that's why he has made conditions for us for our well-being in relationship to sexuality however uh someone who's a, who is sexual immoral is someone who wants to have all the benefits of sex emotionally physically and mentally and socially remember sex isn't just physically someone can receive sexual contentment even without being physically active with someone because sex also involves the emotions sex is we reduce sex to only physical activity it's not that okay anyway people a lot of people lazy people want sexual benefits emotionally socially mentally and also physically when it's available but they are unwillingly to invest i'll give an illustration imagine you have a girl or a young woman was promiscuous why is she promiscuous because she wants to get all the benefits from different sources however is she willingly to be dedicated to those men she's sleeping with is she willing to make sacrifices for those men to value and honor those men and to be there for them where they need something are they willing to invest in those she is she is sleeping with no she only wants to have benefits emotionally financially but she does want to have responsibilities so sexual promiscuity you know and how do i define sexual promiscuity is when someone is greedy for sexual uh, you know benefits that's what sexual promise community is you see and someone with sexual promiscuous only wants benefits but don't want any responsibilities and of course such an, such behavior will have negative impacts upon your body upon your mind upon your upon your emotions because that's not what you're you're created to do and the lord knows this why for people that are i'm mean, saying women that are sexual promiscuous because sexual sexual promiscuity has an enormous negative effect upon women more than it does upon men however women that are sexual promiscuous often blame others for their stupid actions so sexual promiscuity is also an expression of laziness and people that are sexual promiscuous don't care about the relationships they damage, the families they tear apart, and the families they embarrass, or the controversies they create. They just want to get their thing and everyone just has to bow down to their agenda unconditionally. It's abuse. Okay? And there are other areas in which laziness manifests, but I believe you get the picture here. Laziness is an attitude of a negative entitlement. Why do I say negative entitlement? Because an entitlement is nothing wrong. However, the entitlement should be based on reality. Okay. And the thing is, laziness is an entitlement that is based upon an illusion. Okay. And, you know, this is what you should realize. Laziness manifests itself in different forms. Laziness is active, okay? Because you know the parent that exploits the child is active. The child that exploits the parents is active. The woman who is sexual promiscuous and taking advantage of all men and destroying relationships and social uh, um, uh, realities, she is active, okay? Also, for a man who is just using women for sex, is also quite active. So, laziness is evil. And the Lord does not take it, okay? You see, and there's another thing. Lazy people are quite proud. They don't want to admit that they are wrong. So, you can spend months or even years talking to and talking and preaching to a lazy individual. They will still come with excuses to justify their negative behavior. It's just like the book of Proverbs in the Bible says, no, the slot is more wise in his own eyes than seven will give the right answer. You see, don't waste your time with lazy people. Okay, just leave them alone in their misery. Okay, and um, yes, and I'll make another video when I'll talk about you know the 
biblical account of polygamy and I'll explain you know what the truth about polygamy is so but anyway just want you guys to know that laziness is quite dangerous it's you know unnatural it should never take place and girls if you have a guy that's lazy in his relationship with you leave him guys if you have a woman who's lazy towards you in your relationship with her leave her everyone who's lazy you know don't have anything to do with them because they are abusers and they are willingly to kill you just to get what they want see remember because they want everything on their terms without them having to make any effort okay and they also want to be acknowledged and praised for it by their victims avoid lazy people at all costs may the grace of the lord jesus be with you